I just burnt my tongue on the hot chocolate. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Got a brand new student today, Jose, who we've never been flying before together, but uh, today is that first day. We tried doing it, actually we've tried flying a couple of days, but the weather's not been too good for us. Especially for a brand new student, I don't want gusty conditions for, uh, for a brand new student trying to work out how to fly a plane. So today's not looking too bad, cold front just passed through, brought some winds, but it's not too windy today. So we're just waiting for him to arrive, he's very enthusiastic, looking forward for you to meet him. Do some fundamentals today, climbs, turns, descents, all that sort of stuff, show him the area. Let's go and meet Jose. Good stuff. Hi everybody, welcome to the cockpit, this is Jose. Hey. Hey. So, we're gonna go do a, an intro flight. Bit of power, we're rolling forward, power back, and then press the brakes. That's a good brake check. We're gonna check my brakes on my side, okay? Because we've got two sets of brakes, right? We right. wanna check that both of them are working. When we're exchanging controls, okay, we do it three ways. I'm gonna say I have the controls. You're gonna tell me that, okay, you've got the controls, and I'm gonna read it back to you, okay? So right. let's practice that. I have the controls. Uh, you have controls. I have the controls. Perfect. We're going to do that every time. Awesome. Okay. That's to make sure that we know who's flying the plane. Right. All right. So we can put the checklist down for now. Right. Because we're going to go and play with the plane a little bit on this ramp. You're going to give yourself a little bit of power. Uh -huh. And then you're going to bring the power back to a thousand RPM. We're just going to coast. There you go. Okay. Power back to a thousand. Give me a left turn with the, with the, with the rudder. There you go. Take your hand off that, you're not going to need yeah. that. And uh, just keep me on the centre. Beautiful, looking good man. Executive round uh, Cherokee 32042. We're at Romeo 07 with information Quebec for a departure to the northwest. Cherokee 042, runway 31, taxi via Echo 4, Echo, hold short of Alpha. Cherokee 042, follow sky catcher, cross 25 at Echo Taxi. Okay. Right. Now, again, this is a lot of information for you at this point. I'm right. not expecting you to memorize this at the moment. All this will come with repetition and practice, all right? So, with that being said, let's go and have some fun, yeah? Yeah. So, take me to the runway, please. Northwest departure approved, cleared for takeoff. Cliff takeoff, Northwest approved on uh, 313042. Right, take us to the runway. Awesome. So we'll clear on final, no one's coming in. Right. Get us on the center line of the runway. So keep following the yellow line. There you go. All right. Line us up on center, we're on center. We want to double check that this is uh, lining up with this, which it is. Right. Okay, heels to the floor, full power. You're going to see the plane want to turn to the left. She's corrected? Yep, you just got to correct with that right rudder. So get that power in full, all the way forward. All the way forward. And then keep your hand there. Okay. Now looking outside, we're on the center line, looking beautiful. Airspeed is alive. Okay, all the engine instruments are fine. We're at 60, 65. You can pull back on the controls. Pull us back. Hello, oh, welcome to the sky, oh, brother. Look at that. Very nice. Now, we don't want a pitch angle that's too high, right? Because right. we don't want to stall. So kind of bring that pitch angle down a little bit. There you go. This is the perfect climb. Beautiful. Good takeoff, man. Awesome. Oh, well, 1,000 feet. 1,000 feet. Oh, sorry. You go through the climb checklist. Okay. So while you climb, this is this is multitasking now. Flaps <laughs> up. There you go. Uh, engine instrument check. Ah, see what happened there? We kind of, because we were focusing on one thing, we forgot to fly the plane. Right. That's, that's a good lesson, okay? <laughs> and then what I want you to do, is I want you to get it to a point where you can take your hands off the controls and it doesn't rise. All right. Yeah, I can still see it rising and we don't want to go above 1600, so we got to push down. There, it still wants to rise. You got to get that trim forward. There you go. Uh, Look at that. Hands off, show the camera. Look at that. <laughs> we trimmed. Beautiful. Now, what, uh, what I kind of want to drill into your head is what you're doing is you're setting what you want with this, right? You're right. setting what you want. You're setting the angle towards the horizon that you want. Right. And you're keeping it by doing that. This is not a primary flight control, the trim. It's not a, it's a secondary control. Your primary is this. You set what you want with this and you trim to keep that where you want it, okay? Keep that in your head. If you drill that into your head, you're going to be a master of the trim. So if you see the horizon, or let's, let's say the horizon goes away, like it's gone away for me now. 
what, what, what do we need to do with the pitch? Do we need to push down or? Push down. Push down, exactly, get that horizon back. If we're getting more space between you and the horizon, what do you need to do? Yeah, we need to blow up. Exactly. So, cool. Turn me over, over that direction. We're clear on the right. Yep. No one's there. Nobody's now, there. I can feel, I can see without even looking forward that we've got too high of a pitch. We're at 1700. Oh yeah, we, we, go we want to be at 15, right? Right. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to do a climb. Okay. Sure. So, for a climb, whenever, if you did, you know, within 50 to 100 feet, you don't really need to add full power. Um, All right. Anything, any climb more than that, we're going to, we're going to add power. So I want us to go up to 2,500 feet, right? That's my function. Now I want you to maintain VY. What is the VY number for this plane? 76. 76. So. We're going to maintain 76 on the inside of this. Okay. All right. So. We have to pull back. Yeah, exactly. So give yourself full power. We'll check it above. No one's there. Full power. Let's go. Full power. All the way. Get it up. 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 There you go. And then start pulling back. As you add full power, there's a left turning tendency on the plane because of torque. So you've right. got to add a little bit of right rudder in that situation. So. You can see as you're pulling back, that airspeed indicator is going to start to go down. Right. So keep pulling back until you get it to 76. And that's going to be our best rate of climb. There we go. Right there. Perfect. That's where you want it. Perfect. Beautiful, man. Look at that. We're in 2500. Good climb. Very, very nice. Give me a turn to that direction. Let's go over there. All right. Maintaining 2500 the whole time, please. I feel that nose is a little bit high, that horizon's kind of gone away. There you go. If you need a retrim, retrim. Alright, so now we're going to do a descent. What do you think is the first thing that you're going to do in a descent? Uh, probably reduce power. Reduce power, yeah. exactly. Bring the power back to about maybe 1800 RPM or so. Alright. And then you're going to let the nose go down. This is looking good. This is a perfect pitch angle. We never want to be like descending like that. Right. You know, this is a nice pitch angle, looking good. We got plenty of space between the horizon and our dashboard. Get me down, back down to 1,500 feet, and we are looking good. Look at that, 1,500 feet, trimmed out. Hi, brother. Tell the people why you want to be a pilot. Well, personally, uh, I'm very interested in the airline career. So my dad is an airline career also. So that just runs in the blood, I guess. Yeah, man. That's cool. So you want to be an airline captain? Yes. Good stuff. How old are you? Right now, 17. 17. And flying really well, as you can see. So this is a good start to your career, brother. See the, al uh, the altitude went down a little bit. Right. Let's get that back. You, can you see downtown Orlando in the distance over there? Yeah. All right, head over there. All right. We're going to go home. Executive Tower, Jekry, uh, 32042, about 11 miles to the northwest, inbound Romeo, full stop. Number 042, Lambda Zeta Power, Roger, and Zero, right downwind for runway 25, wind 310 at 10. Alright, right downwind for 25, 32042. Good job, man. That was, that was really good. Awesome. Let's do that again. Good job. <laughs> good job. And tower 32042 midfield. November 042, Roger, your fault number two, following Skyhawk on a half mile final runway 25, clear to land, when a 3406. Still got 65, still looking good. Right, I still got, got my nose into the wind. Okay, right now I'm going to transition the nose. I'm going to move my eyes to the end of the runway, and I'm going to power idle, and I just want to hold the nose to the end of the runway, and you should have a nice, easy touchdown like that. Okay. And that's all about where you're positioning your eyes. If you have your eyes too close to uh, too close to where you're landing, you're going to have a hard landing, because your perception is different. If you transition your eyes to, to the end of the runway and just hold the nose towards it, it's going to be a good landing, because that helps you flare. Beautiful, man. How do you feel? Feel good? Good. Yeah? Good stuff. Done a good job today.